Namaste. I am Nibir, and you are watching the true narrative. Have you thought about the term camouflage? They say that camouflage is basically an animal trying to escape its predators. But uh, trying to escape its predators by merging with its environment so that the predator cannot distinguish between the foliage and the animal. But if you are a spiritual person and you see the oneness of all life, then you will understand that this term camouflage it comes from ignorance because if you are uh, I mean life itself projects the moving so all of it is life so the tree is also alive and everything that you see and call life this is life everything is alive and conscious Although it's varying degrees of consciousness. Some are high, highly conscious and some are low consciousness level. So when a tree, let's say a banyan tree, wants to reflect its uh, aliveness because a tree has no arms and no legs, so it creates or nature creates the animals and birds as the tree's hands and legs to serve the tree, to protect it, to serve it in whatever way it is. So the animal or is not separate from the tree. For example, an owl that looks exactly like the banyan tree, the bark of the banyan tree that it is nesting upon, is the banyan tree in the form of an owl. So the owl serves the banyan tree in various ways of which uh, we are aware, uh, we can be aware of some and not so aware of others but still it uh, probably um, the owl uh, warns the tree of uh, any incoming visitors tells the tree uh, or the owl pecks off the old leaves or just provides the tree company so the tree is happy to that to give service to the owl uh, a place to stay and the owl is happy to serve the tree which it feels comfortable in because it's a projection of the tree so this it's this is the real uh, <clears throat> what is happening this is the real uh, knowledge the wisdom of, of what exactly is happening is that the owl is serving the tree and the tree is projecting the owl and uh, let's say you can call this it's a kind of symbiosis and it's If we look at it from the point of view of the owl, it's the owl reflecting its environment. So home is what we call um, the place that we're most comfortable in. And we design our home according to our wishes. And, and it reflects our inside or it reflects our job or personality. So if you if you you can see this is my home, right? So I'm not camouflaging inside my home. It's just a projection of who I am. Uh, like a creative person, a thinker. Uh, thinker, meditator. Um, I like paintings, uh, so my mom 
mother is a painter and it reflects who she is as well. The home reflects what you are. So at home I am most secure, isn't it? At home I, I really don't need to think about predators. It is more of a reflection of who I am. So similarly, the owl is also reflecting who it is by its choice of home. So that's why we see the similarity of the animal and uh, its home. Take the case of an insect, a stick insect. It looks like a stick because it's a, it's a stick. It's like the, the stem of the bush that's come alive, the stick. Or take a leaf insect. So you can call them flying leaves because the leaf has come alive. Nature is such that it keeps playing and creating according to its own needs. So if it needs walking leaves, it creates walking leaves. So the walking leaf is not trying to protect itself from a predator, it is just reflecting the wishes and the desires of the tree. So this is this natural symbiosis, this natural codependence upon each other in nature. This is the true connection of life. Life is an in intricate interwoven net where everything, even a stone or a rock, is important or is necessary for there to be functionality in life. So you change one thing, let's say you remove one rock from one location to another location, you have changed something in life. So everything it is, is there because existence wants it to be there, the source wants it to be there. So it is, it is the human ego that says no, no, no. This life should be my way and not somebody else's way. This is the human ego. When each one tries to impose his or her decisions upon life. And life will let you impose, but you have to reach that level of wisdom and that connectivity with life and that level of consciousness and awareness to be able to be on a on friendly terms with nature so that you know nature will listen to you but it's not like okay you know like a st stubborn child saying oh no 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 I want it this way and this is the way and most most people in our world are dictators they just want life to be the way they want it to be so that is not going to happen because life takes the decisions existence takes the decisions so this is the whole thing and so you can see how vast the ignorance is in our world. If a very concept like living in harmony is called conscious camouflage, you know, it is the opposite viewpoint. Where, what is a higher state of consciousness? When you think that life is nurturing, life is friendly towards you, life is supportive towards you, that is the higher state of consciousness. And most animals, plants, insects live in this state of consciousness where they understand that life is nurturing them. Life is protecting them. Life is good for their growth. So where does the question of a predator come in that they are hiding from this enemy, you know, and it's like a war situation. So it is completely not true. It is from low consciousness beings which think that life is out there to attack them and destroy them at any point of time that this concept of camouflage, it is completely the inverted view, inverted perspective of what is the real perspective. So this is the essence of what I'm saying. And there are so many things like this that if we think and reflect upon, we can come to know about. So that's all I have to say today. So make sure you subscribe and forward our channel to your friends, family and loved ones so that you know they can also benefit 
from the wisdom of the sage, sages and saints of the Himalayas, uh, of which I am just a mouthpiece. So I am, I am giving you the true wisdom of the Himalayan mountains. So please make sure my message reaches as many people as possible out there. And I do hope, uh, hope that you're keeping your spirits up because of the situation of the coronavirus that is going on. So it's very important to keep your spirits up and keep your happiness up so that your immune system remains strong and is able to fight off any virus, any bacteria, any germ or any disease out there. So with that, I wish you a very wonderful day. Cheers.